Hey guys, I'm Jonathan on occasion, and today we are exploring the jungle. That's right, with Humphrey. The Humphrey, the jungle man. For yep. So anyway, uh, we're doing great. We're doing great, is, is the long and short of it. We are making excellent progress. We have a banner of swiftness. That's only going to make our progress even faster. It's pretty good going. Um, but yeah, we've almost got rid of uh, the uh, of Tlaxla. Uh, sorry, not, that's not Tlaxla. Who are you? Tlaqua. That's the one. Uh, we've almost got rid of them. And we have almost got rid of Sotek as well, I think. How many settlements do you have left? Three. Do you only have three settlements left? So he has three. Uh, Tlaqua has three. So yeah, we're making pretty excellent progress through these guys. And the thing is, though, once we get to the Cape... It's off into the Chaos Waste, where progress is really going to slow down, because I'm pretty sure just being anywhere on this territory is going to give us horrible amounts of attrition. Um, so that's a bit annoying. But luckily, we have incredible replenishment, so if we do have to suffer the odd turn of, uh, of attrition, then, yeah, we should be fine. Should be able to bounce back pretty quickly. Oh, okay, you can't go a bit further. I was like, is that literally... Literally go to Sudenberg and that's it. No, we can go a bit further. So Gulgast has been just like probing the coast. I don't really know what he's doing. He may end up attacking down here somewhere, in which case I'll have to come deal with him. But first, I want to wipe out um, the Black Pyramid of the Gash. I want to take it over because apparently this is something that may provide a unique building chain. Uh, mostly it's because I want to see how many kills Voltmar can get against 8 billion skeletons, which I think would be really satisfying. Also, this is obviously tier 5, so this is going to be... Oof. It's gonna be oof. Also, Skaven keep coming. They won't stop coming. They just won't stop, guys. They will not stop. Um, but anyway, once we've done uh, all this, I'm gonna send uh, Gunter Leonardus over here to go grab another um, book. And then he's gonna head north, declare war on the elves, I guess. No, probably get rid of that. He can declare war on the elves on the way back. And then, if he can escape the elves, which he honestly might not be able to, um, although this might all belong to Marathi or something for all I know, I have no idea if there's be high elves even living there. But um, I'm going to sail back down here and go to Skaven Blight. Um, oh, that's an enemy. That's fine. That's not a book of the cash. But anyway, there's also one in Sylvania and Karakate Peaks. So, yeah. So hopefully he can go and get four, which is going to be a hell of a journey. And then this guy can get these other two. And that'll be all the. And that'll be a case of Voltmar wiping out the demons down here, and we'll have one in all all terms that I care about, basically. So, you know, anything more than that is um, just kind of flogging a dead horse. So, And you know how I feel about dead horses. Very, very against utilizing the undead. Horses and all. Alright, let's get hold the line for you. Ready. Uh, Vasily, get soul fire, finally. And yes. so can you, right? Sure can. Sure can. Uh, have a berserker sword, why not? Good. Oh, and a talisman of preservation. That'd be nice on somebody. I feel I should put it on Humphrey. feel like you might need that. Uh, oh, I got Stahlberg's letter as well. Let's give that to him, too. Feels appropriate. Uh, now, where was that? There we go, talisman of preservation. Uh, that's better than the Dawnstone, that's for sure. And could give him a sword of striking. I don't know why scrolling has slowed down a bunch. It's a bit weird. Yeah, just give him that. It's nothing major. But it's not bad. Crowns of command, I can't stand. But I have a couple now, so I'll fuse them. Ooh, sword of bloodshed. You know what? I have that instead. You earned it. And I'll fuse some of this stuff too. Same with the uh, dawn stones. And them. Okay, good. And you can have some armor too. I mean, he's a lord, so I want him to have fairly good stuff. Um, have an apprentice wizard. You don't have a wizard in your party. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, we just got a bunch of yes, loot. Lord. lord Croak is trying to head home, but he still hasn't. There is some treasure over there. It might be worth grabbing that and going to Zatlan, but then we have to go all the way back up here. These are very out of the way. They really are. I live to serve the Emperor. Yeah, you better. You better serve the Emperor. Okay, uh, is that it? I think that's it, the turn. I think we did all the things. I can't believe we're earning uh, 6k right now, even though we have five armies. Like, it's quite impressive. We're still earning that much. But then I guess we have quite the Empire now, don't we? 
It's not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. Right, moving on. Forgers of Galmaraz. How can the Empire be of assistance? If he declares war on me with 150 military alliance. Why do you go straight to military alliance? You know what? I don't care. That sounds great. I'm happy. I am happy to cooperate with him. Finally. Yeah, that guy's been real stubborn. So, Queek has gone invisible. <laughs> I don't think he retreated. I think he might be trying to ambush. But I have no interest in going anywhere. So, you know. He could do what he likes, I guess. Uh, do I want to get some hand gunners or something? I mean, some artillery would be lovely. Do I just want to get, like, a bunch of mortars? I mean, some Hellstorm rocket batteries could be fun, too. This will take forever to build, and that cost us everything, but I kind of don't care. I think this will be really impressive if we can have these guys defending. Um, I think just getting more random chaff isn't really going to swing anything. Also, against Gaven, like, if we do end up just sitting and ambushing, if we have three of these fire, just an opening volley, that's going to be, like, a third of their army scattered. It's going to be marvellous. Okay. Now they're down to two settlements. At least I presume so. Yeah, I, I, I assumed their garrison wasn't going to put up much of a fight. So we now have the Cavern Sotek, which means we have another province. Hell yeah. Install the Burgermeisters. We must bring the technology of burgers to everywhere we go. Okay, uh, further. All about them freedom burgers. Okay. Humphrey Stein. It is Stein. It's Stein time. That's his catchphrase. It's uh, I can't. I can't stop him doing it. Like it's real embarrassing. He just. He does it all the time. He's always like, it's Stein time. It's like, dude, come on. Like, <laughs> people have died. Uh, anyway, boost income. Ready to serve. I serve the Heldenhammer. Sure do, buddy. Sure do. Okay. And uh, if he's setting fourth, then I guess uh, Gunter Leonardus is setting fifth. You can't be ahead of him. Going fourth, you can't. You can't do that. Anyway, uh, we're going to take this guy. It's going to be great. What I could do, uh, what I could do, because I'm a cheeky, cheeky boy, is I could, I could deploy this thing called strategy. Um, it's cheese, really. I could attack uh, the pyramid of Nagash with Gunter Leonardus, right? And when it's under siege. This army and the garrison won't be able to join the fu any fights outside. Then I can have Volkmar attack one of the armies outside. And then I can double back and attack the Black Pyramid. Sound good? I think so. Because again, we're fighting the undead. There's no need for uh, chivalry or anything. No, we're bringing two armies so we can smash this to the ground. And kill those naughty dead people. I know, it's confusing, okay? But don't worry about it. Uh, okay, I think that's that then, right? Yeah, we're gonna get a bunch of artillery, and we we'll start marching up that way, fighting all of the rats as we go, and then gifting them to Thorak Ironbrow because he's about to take Karakazgal, which means he'll have uh, territory neighboring, neighboring us, which is really really good news. Also, we don't we don't have any um, allied thingam thingamagoo with him yet, so let's have a look. Uh, War coordination with Thoric Ironbrow. Do you have missions? He does. He wants to defeat Shav. Actually, he wants to defeat Tic-Tac-Toe. Or Teclis. These are all pretty good. These are all pretty damn good. Um, Tic-Tac-Toe is potentially the closest. So I'll do that. Also, Midland. Uh, we can build an outpost in Midland. It would actually be quite nice if we get that leveled up a bunch. We might be able to get some allied units from him. I don't know if they'll have any decent units for us to recruit, but it would be nice just to be able to get, like, have another source of recruitment um, for, for units such as ours, you know. Even if it's just swordsmen I could get from him. That's a way to fill up an army with four swordsmen while I'm building the rest of the army. It's just quicker recruitment, you know. Anyway, I think everybody's moved again. Everyone's good. Yeah, all right. The Sigmarite faith are willing hosts to its friends and allies. Hey, Carl. Uh, military access. Do we not have military access yet? Yeah, let's do it. Weird, 
weird if he's like, nope, Cult Sigmar is not allowed at the Empire. What are you talking about? <laughs> the Cult of Sigmar is the Empire. So, uh, we found Queek. Yeah, he was indeed trying to ambush, but now it means that he's got a couple of stacks fighting us. Uh, oh, I can actually, uh, I can style this out. I can style this out by by just auto-resolving this. It would get them off my back, so I think I'll just do it. We'll lose Spearman. Oh no, not Spearman. So yeah, that's fine. Thotakai and Brow. Where are you building it? Sudenberg. Yeah, I suppose that'll do. Negative growth of the dead head monoliths. I guess they're, they're scaven are coming at us from a few different angles, huh? Yeah, a few different ones. So, the populace of one of your settlements is gradually vanishing. On certain nights, whole ghettos or districts are left abandoned. The only clue for the remaining denizens is a triangular symbol daubed on a nearby gate or wall. <laughs> we found a rat. Oh, we've got bones for his inventory from defeating Queek. That's nice. See how he runs all the way to the sewer from which he first skulked. Praise be to Sigma. Uh, Grand Sulfire. Hell yes. And Root Marcher. He will be on the march one day. One day. One day. Alright, more um, spearmen. Let's fill up on cheap rubbish. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Um, cool. Yeah, let's get all that done. Uh, so once these are done, I may take a step back, uh, get rid of a bunch of our crappy spearmen and get some at least spearmen with shields. Just so we have some missile resistance or our slings are going to wear us down, you know. So, Mr. Kalb. You go where I tell you, and I happen to tell you where you're needed. So, technically, you're correct. Did you just scream fish? I mean, I get that he's in the in the sea, but, like, I don't know. I wasn't expecting him to shout fish. So he'd be more preoccupied with, uh, with us, honestly. So, we're going to take that, and all we'll have left is Latan and something else. I have something else down here, presumably. Alright, Statue of the Gods. Uh, we really do need to put garrison buildings on all of these. Really do. But hey, we're ready to attack. Uh, so this guy... Uh, okay, we can reach King Harkavos. Which is perfect. So, let's declare war. Sorry, the Sentinels. Okay, we're going to continue the siege. And then, we're going to attack this jump. I'm not sure this guy can reach either. So he's going to run away. And then they'll have two armies. Yep, just the garrison. And we have two armies. Awesome. Okay, this is a little scary though. These are very elite units. But they're very elite unit. I say very elite. They're kind of mid-tier, really. Like, but, like... They're good infantry, I'll say that much. They're good infantry, but they don't have very much armor. Tomb Guard really suffer from not having, like, you know, high tier unit armor. You know, even like great swords are like 95, I think, by default. Um, so, like, you know, pretty, pretty good. This stuff is going to be really vulnerable to things like Grand Sulfire. So, you know, even their good infantry will be vulnerable. And they don't have a lot of armor piercing themselves. I mean, the Halberds do, and they got the Anti Large. You know, which is a little scary. That will be a little bit better at killing Voltmar, but Voltmar does regenerate. And he has a banishment that he can drop on top of himself if he gets surrounded by Tomb Guard. So we're in a pretty good position, I'd say. Pretty damn good position. So, yeah, let's fight. This is going to be a big old battle, I reckon. Ah, there it is. Okay, I'm really happy. I was really worried uh, for a while there. Jesus, look at this. You know, I was concerned that the map would be a, a fairly generic one. Right, it'd just be a generic map, but it really isn't. This is possibly the most epic Tomb Kings map, and it has like all the insane vistas. I mean, it's astounding. And you got the River of Blood going through it too. So good. And look at all this. Oh, this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. You're surrounded in, uh, in, like, 
these guys. That's very imposing. I love it, got it in flight as well. Real cool. But yeah, it's crazy that, like, Nagash was so powerful that he was essentially able to, like, figure out the construction of a, of a, of a temple city. You know, like the Lisbon. All the, all the Lisbon cities um, are essentially spaceships. Like, dormant spaceships. But yeah, Nagash managed to actually build one, essentially. It's, uh, rad as hell. Really nice way to show just how powerful he is that he was able to build something like that. Okay. You know what? Free Company kind of suck. Not generally, but they kind of suck at attacking the walls of things. I'm not sure I want them to take too much damage either. Attacking here might be worthwhile. Because these aren't going to be able to hit me if we attack through here. They will be able to shoot down at me from all these areas, though. But, God, I can't get over this map. Anyway, uh, we've got reinforcements coming from over this side. Which I think is fine. I'll just barge them in here. We are Sigma there. Hmm. Yeah, I worry these so guys are just going to fail horribly against things like Tomb Guard. Because a lot of these, um, you know, a couple of these artillery pieces aren't going to do a thing. I think I think we're going to have to maybe go over here so that these guys can shoot over the wall into whatever's behind. Or at least shoot level with the wall. You know? Might be able to do the same with Free Company, actually. And we've got a couple of guys who can fly. They can maybe help pin things down. I'll have to see about that. Yeah, I think they have to go for the rules. Gates, rather. Ah, crap. For some reason, I was under the impression that they didn't have um, archers. Okay, start going. Yeah, this I think is a good, a good way to push up. I think it'd be pretty fun. Maybe some fun times. Ooh, they took a bit of damage, didn't they? Oh, jeez, we... Wow, the gate's already gone. Well, that's nuts. Alright, cool. You do you, I guess. Uh, I'm going to start hitting the Tomb Guard with Halberd, I suppose. Okay. I love it. Okay. You lot, we can line up here. Alright, our reinforcements are on the way. Okay, we're going to move you guys inside. Okay, you lot. I'm going to move up top in a second. Alright, now time to get you lot in. Okay. Please do. Okay, we've got our artillery, which I think will be fine. Actually, tell you what, can you... Who's going for that one? Let's smash through there, I guess. Now let's move all you lot up. And I want to start hitting these with some spells. Like this one. And hopefully that now I'm going to move. Oh, that's a bit of a pity. Uh. Yeah, that works. Oh my god, really? You're all climbing over there? Hey, what am I saying? Of course they are. I mean, we're getting through them. Bit by bit. 
Ah, uh, you guys can get in here now, yeah? Probably. Yes, sir. I imagine. Yes, sir. Yeah, sound a buckle. Ooh, no, no, no. No, can't do that. Cheeky. That won't do it at all. Can I get him down there? I guess so, yeah. Alright, are you shooting things? I feel like you should be, but you're not really. Uh, actually, there's Tomb Guard, that'd be fun. Alright, uh, how are you little doing? You doing well? Hope you're doing well. Getting through that. Oh, Fault Bar. Fault Bar, my boy. What are you playing at? Come on now. I want you to bust in there and start smashing things. Okay. Handling it. Handling it. You're not handling it. Can you shoot them, please? Come on, mess them up. Much better. Okay. Good. Okay, not quite through it. Almost. Almost. Oh. Oh, I hate this artillery. Oh, there's more coming too. Alright, let's mess them up. Alright, you're gonna go get him. You're gonna run in there, finish him off. That's what you're gonna do. Yes, my lord. Okay, we're through. Alright. You lot, run in. Formation. Oh, get up there. Okay, seriously, what are you guys doing? I don't think they know what they're doing. Yes. Okay. Now let's get a burning head through here. It should do some damage to the screaming skulls, do some damage to the tomb guard. Hey, we'll just we'll see. I mean the fact they're running in the same direction is quite handy. Oh, and they seem to be spreading out in order to take more damage, which is sweet of them. Okay, good. Hmm. Move out. Ah, it's tough unless I know they're gonna stop moving. I mean, that's good, but do you have a real shield? What are you people doing? Oh my god, I can't even. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The pathfinding is, is just bonkers. Absolutely absurd. Alright, let's do that. Hit with the banishment as well. That for everybody nearby. Alright, get with the banishment. Ah. Come on, I really want you guys to stop moving. It'd be really good if you would stop moving just for a second. Oh, is that we doing here anyway? Oh, you got hundreds of kills. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, you still think you? Never mind. All right, all the buffs. Nice. Oh my god, I hit the ceiling. Cheeky little sod. Alright, let's uh, get on with one of those. Still got quite a lot of magic. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> that won't do. And it looks like they are completely fine with you channeling fire. Nice. Alright, let's channel some more. Sweet. Oh no, they moved. Oh, please come this way. Wow, okay, that decimated them. Nice. Alright, up this way, mate. Okay, now we'll do that. There we go. Pretty cool. I'll fight in Tomb Kings. They're a fun one to fight. Uh, so yeah, you can get down from there. Oh wow, okay. Two of you can't actually get up there. Alright. 
Let's get you in. But are you are you shooting? Kind of a tell. Yes. Yes, you are. Good lad. Uh, how are we looking over here? Quite good. Still a lot here, huh? There's two armies, so yeah, I get it. Our weapons are yours. Uh, is he? He's on a horse. That's clever. <laughs> That's clever. No, not all of you. Jesus Christ. That would have been horrendous. What? Oh, yep, fine. Alright then, manning that. Got tomb guard with halberds over there. You guys are like in waves. Like a wave form. Very weird. Alright, Boltmar. Just go in and kill everything. Oh! Oh, I didn't realize there was a shaft to that. Okay. Let's get some more buffs in there. Unfortunately, I'll, I can't hit him, you know. Can't hit him there. I can do that, though. How are you getting on? Not great. You decided to let them just shoot you. Which isn't ideal. You know, all things considered. Well. That should help. I can't believe our wizard is just in here killing everybody. It's very silly. It's our wizard fighting Tomb Guard. But <laughs> he's doing it. Got rid of the artillery. And yeah, these guys are firing into the side. He's firing from above. I think you can call that firing, right? No! Oh, okay. Yep, keep shooting him, please. Thank you. Yep. Their lord's dead. Alright. We have so many troops just like running through the streets. Just blasting skeletons. It's wild. So how are you doing? 130 kills? Dude, you've got you've got some competition here. Bright Wizard's really starting to perform, you know. We're gonna get work done. Unlike this idiot. Alright, how are we doing over here? I think we've cleared out this area now, right? Seems like it. Seems like it. Alright, well... We're on him. We're on him. Um... Yeah, I might sacrifice him. For the greater good. Alright, come on guys. Everyone, everyone pile in. Everybody pile in. It's gonna be great. Oh, they're not sure. They're not sure about it. <laughs> well. Yeah, here it comes. Okay, Nehekara warriors appear to be trying to flee. Alright, let's get that in there too. Oh, hello. And yeah, they're getting absolutely wrecked. Oh, our cannons were firing there. Gonna be army losses. Alright, 300 kills. Uh, Alright, one more chance to get some kills. Come on, buddy. 319. 320. Aww. Didn't actually really get credit for any of them. But yeah, we did it. We did it. We got through them. Everybody survived. All right, who hasn't who hasn't gone yet? Just him. Close victory, and uh, yeah, we have quite the um, the blasphemy to dismantle. Yep. Cool. All right, do we just like I don't know? Is that like a a, a a just a plug you can pull out on the on the tank of magic juice, and it'll just it'll just fall out the sky? I'm assuming that's the case. Nailed it. Very, very nice. Killed so many undead. Uh, there's still two stacks left, of course. Still two stacks. 
Uh, yep, we're not quite. And uh, it's tier 4. Nice. Gonna be very handy. Uh, however, we do need a garrison building on there. Uh, it looks like we already have whatever it is, the Vault of Nagash. Uh, okay, this is kind of amazing, actually. Vampiric Corruption plus 20 is obviously very annoying, but all armies get 10% spell resistance. Our Winds of Magic Power Reserve are plus 30% when increasing for all armies, and all of our Lords and Heroes will be recruited three levels higher. Everywhere. That's very nice. That is very nice indeed. Very cool. And... It has a Shrine of Sigmar already, so it's lowering that corruption. Uh, so we can lower it by 12, just from building this. Um, so that, uh, you know, plus plus 20 isn't really as big a deal. Another White Cloak of Aldrich. Province, Great Mortis Delta. Uh, do you want growth or do you want corruption minus 2? Uh, I think we want more growth, actually. Praise be to Sigmar! Yes, praise be. What do we want? I have no idea. Do we just want to start making him real... Real killy? I mean, not that killy. I can just give him Scarred Veteran so he stays alive longer. It's probably a good idea. Uh, don't have a griffin yet. Rank 22. Only three levels away from getting a griffin. Arcane can't do it. Brilliant. And Curse of Anrea. Good. Now, Heinz. Yeah, let's get Scar better in a couple times. Adolphus von Horstman. Let's get Fervor. And Wild Eyed. And. Sigma, grant me strength. Uh, I'm about to grant you some strength. Shush. Uh, Woundmaker. It's a shame the Staff of Command counts as a weapon. I mean, it does put up his weapon strength and things as well, but, like, it's, it's a shame that we can't put his weapon strength up. Just, like, a ton. With other Volk other weapons. Mentor sounds good, even though we don't have any other witch hunters yet. We will eventually, I'm sure. Uh, assassinate, just because it's on brand. The instrument of Oliver Kfauerbach, let's get Mentor. And uh, yeah, you can only get Mentor once, because I'm going to level up, so let's get boost income. Speaking of income, this place isn't really earning anything, is it? But we do have a stable here. Yeah, we haven't actually got a stable anywhere else yet. I haven't got round to Blessings it. Of Sigmar upon so now if I attack I this guy, because he has no home province, he's probably going to be likely... Yep. Yep, he decided it was worthwhile. Good. Now they can't pull the same trick on me. <laughs> nice, more money. They can't pull the same trick on me where they go, Oh, I'm going to attack uh, the Pyra Pyramid of Nagash, and then I'm going to attack the guy outside of it, and then it'll be both of me versus the one guy outside of it, and then I can attack the other one. Won't be any of that. Can't do it. Can't do it. They're too stupid. That's my reasoning, and I'm sticking with it. Uh, oh, let's get a Shrine of Sigma here as well. Yeah, I'm to get a Shrine of Sigma here. Although, Wizards Conclave might be nice. In Camry. I imagine Wizards would be quite um, interested in Camry. Probably more interested in the Pyramid of the Gash, though, mind you. Probably more interested in that. So, yeah, let's get a Shrine of Sigma here. Yeah, and you know, do I want to spend the money just sort of, you know, for that role play? Or, yeah, you know what? I will. I will. I was going to do it for the role play. Um, we don't need it everywhere, you know, we just don't. Oh, actually, I can't. I can't, yeah. I really do need these. That's the thing, I'll always do the role play stuff unless I need to do something else. But if I don't really need it, then, meh, whatever. Protector. I'm all happy, just have some fun. Uh, let's upgrade that, I suppose. Oh, well, that's about to get to tier 5. Although we do need the insane the amount of replenishment. In fact, we really need to get a lord up here. Not a lord, a hero up here. We need to get one of our, um... Uh, 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 warrior priests. That's what I'm trying to say. Where can I get a warrior priest? Here. I can get one, technically. Wow, level 18 to start. That's impressive. Um, let's go with tough... Okay, Otter Ram Voldus. Yes. Righteous fury upon them. Totes. Uh, I can't afford a second one. I would quite like to get a second one. We just have a whole bunch. Don't be dropping cell fires for days. The righteous hammer of Sigma. Um, I gotta say, I do feel like in Warhammer Three they've they've upgraded the, um, the battle prayers a bit. They feel a bit more potent strength. than they did. 
which uh, I'm I'm a big fan of. I think they should be potent. I think they should be impressive. You know, as warrior priests, they're such a sort of um, I don't know, like a, I mean, they're just iconic when it comes to Warhammer. You know, like these insane like zealot. You know, and same with the witch hunters, really. But these insane zealots just like swinging hammers around and cooling down the wrath of Sigmar is just—it's—it's it's so Warhammer, you know. So it should really feel worth doing, or else you know, it doesn't really give you that fun fantasy. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, let's get all the things, I suppose. And let's get that uh, and further. Cool. That's crazy. I love it. So yeah, Voltmar and uh, Gunther uh, are both going to have to head back to uh, Sudenberg. Uh, this guy will probably kamikaze and, and die. This is nothing. It's all just skeletons. So it should be pretty straightforward. And uh, the Black Pyramid the Gas should be able to look after itself once we build the walls on it. That should help out a lot. I don't think anyone else nearby really wants to declare war on us or anything. And uh, yeah, we've got neighbours everywhere. So hopefully we should be able to hold on to it. But uh, Voltmar is going to head south to head to the Chaos Wastes, which is obviously a little bit scary. Um, but, you know, we'll work on it. And uh, Gunther is going to head to Lustria, which is very exciting, isn't it? Oh, it's all very exciting, of course. You know, It's all exciting, but that's particularly exciting. Be a change of scene. I say that, we're going from one jungle to a different jungle. So it's not a drastic change in scene, but... He will be heading to, to Orthwan afterwards, and, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll get around. So, Tic-Tac-Toe, again, on a peace treaty, they're really willing to pay for it now. But again, I, I'm just happy to wipe them out the face of the earth at this point. You know, I don't I don't think these lizard creatures are part of, um, part of Sigmar's plan. Screw the great plan. Don't care how great it is. I'm not trusting the word of a bunch of, like, giant toads. It's not happening. Under Morsleep's glare, your warriors range deep into hostile lands, but all is not well. There are dark omens abroad, as if some shadow of some horned rat. God, rather. Could be anything. Could be anything. Could be a horned rabbit? Penguin? I don't care. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, was watching from the evil moon above, for the army is fettered by Morsleep's glare. Uh, I will improve the omens, because we are um, a superstitious folk, given the fact that we are literally battle pope. Great Pyramid, Great Pyramid of the Gash. Uh, I'm a bit worried about him uh, getting uh, us attacking and him dying. So yeah, that's good. I'll leave Voltmar out of it. Alright, there we go. Yep, got Vagabonds. The Sentinels have been obliterated. There is nothing left apart from the echoing laughter of thirsting gods. <laughs> Alright, Voltmar, my boy. So righteous. Dude. I know, he's not saying righteous like that. But what if he was? Honored to serve. Honored to serve. Cowabunga. Uh, right, anyway, moving on. Gunther, I think, is also going to leave. Otta Ramvoldus. He's going to go over there. And so is his friend. Jovi Warner. Nah, Henry Leidorf. Let us forge our faith. Go, Henry Leidorf. Ah, my faith burns bright. Okay, we need to level him up 8,000 times, yes, don't we? Oh, actually, much ready. lower level. I really should have recruited him before I walked out of the territory with Voltmar, but I don't care. I've done it now. I really, I really hate uh, when bonuses are local like that. Because you have to have, like, so much line up that I usually just forget about those bonuses because it's Ready not worth worrying serve. about. Because the idea of, like, sending uh, Voltmar back to somewhere where I have the building to Protector get, you know, to weak. recruit that particular thing, um, it, just, it just feels very unlikely. So I really wish more of these things were global. Especially because there's a cap on these units. So, like, you, you know, you don't want to waste time recruiting if... You think you're not going to mid-max? Yeah. It's just, it's not a fun thing to um, to mid-max, you know. It's not fun going, oh, I'll take Voltmar off the front line so I can get some more levels into a guy that I don't have yet. Like, it's, nah, just let us recruit stuff from a distance and 
send it into their army. Oh, there's a let's recruit heroes straight into the army. I would actually be totally fine with that if you could just get heroes um, from any army. I think that'd be fine. I I'd have no issue with it. I mean, you can recruit whole units in a couple of turns. Why not a, why not a hero, you know? Praise Sigma. Uh, let's move this way. Yeah, I think we're just going to run. We're just going to jog on over here. Fight for our nation. And Richter Wolf. Ever vigilant. Yeah, we're not we're not going to be here for a little while, are we? Actually, there's a road going the whole way. Teclas is here with an interesting army, a bunch of shadow warriors, silver in guard, and uh, and some river titles. Kind of cool, actually. Far beneath an archmage. Spelt Lauren wrong. Silly. Only 50% ambush, he'll probably get spotted if he does, and I don't know, Lugris. fine, I guess. I don't think it's much of a problem. Sigma. I think it'll probably be fine. Shadow Warriors are going to be a bit of a pain, though. The fact that they can fire at us um, from hidden, you know, it will reveal them, but they can get that, like, alpha strike on us, basically. So Otter's heading off, he's going to head off. And I think that'll make this guy rather, uh, a rather handsome, rather handsome looking army. Uh, cool. Okay. Gunther, do I leave you now? We have no garrison there, but there's also nothing attacking us here. Um, do you guys want to trade? Nice. Good. Well, better terms. And Clan Angland. They want all the things. Hell yeah. What are you going to give me? Four grand? Oh my god. I love you. You're my new favorite. Now then, but only man. maybe. Let's see what I'll he's willing to offer us. Day. Almost 10k. Okay, you know what? Thorgrim's my favourite. Thanks, yes. buddy. Yeah, well, I bet he just heard that one of the other one of the other kings was cooler than him. He's like, oh, we'll see about that. Here, have a bucket of gold. The Empire. Did I say a bucket? Welcome I meant two buckets. Oh, this is also quite funny. We could actually, um, if I if I back out of here, we could actually confederate. And we could just take control of Nordland. There's absolutely no point doing it, so I won't bother. Because, like, why would we want to? As you say, sir. As I say, yeah, we could easily, easily confederate with them. So, um, but no, li literally no point. Well literally peace. no point. And I will offer you two hundred. See, I'm a very it. generous boy. Good. All right. You know what? We're getting on well with people. We're getting on well with people. Looks Greatest like we're getting on better with these guys now. Because we've been doing more wars with other people, we're we're allied with more people they uh, like. A human. Your squat race is most. Of <laughs> All right. Well, decided I don't want to talk to him anymore. He called me short. True servant of Sigma. He was the a dwarf. All right. So we made a ton of money thanks to all our dwarf and allies. Uh, they probably heard about what we were doing to Teclas. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. We were doing bad things to him. Oh, Kairos is on his way. Oh, that's fun. Okay, yeah, a couple turns replenishment. Now we can fight him. Sounds good. Uh, I might... Oh, well, Statue of the Gods does need this build. I think Death Head... Wow, we're only 7.5k now. That's amazing. Uh, but yeah, I think Death Head Monolith can wait, just because it's got a really sorry-looking garrison right now. I'm not sure I want to risk it. The fact that he's attacking over here... I just think he's attacking from, like, a serious angle. I'm really worried that he has most of Lustria. Because I actually, I don't know how many uh, provinces are in the wastes. I don't know how many settlements. I don't think there's that many. But, he has 15 settlements, so it, it really does make me think that he's over here. Or here, maybe. Or along here, I don't know. It's, it's showing that he's allied with it, so I don't know if he's taken all this area. He might have uh, fought... So yeah, what might have happened is he fought um, Oxyotl, and Oxyotl was probably friends with Tehenuin, so he then went and attacked Tehenuin and took all that territory over. So, a little scary, actually. So, Voltmar may actually, if I push down this way, might push all the way up here anyway to get this quest battle done. So, I might actually have Gunther Leonardus head to Skavenblight first, maybe. Or to Ulthuan or fight this pirate. I may do that instead. I'll just let Voltmar handle handle everything in the south. Seems wise, doesn't it? I assume so. I'm wise. I'm very wise. Um, but yeah, this is cool. This is very cool. 
this could be a very cool thing we can crack on with next episode. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.